In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you more about how to maximize your use of the Theme Designer. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how to populate your media room, how to select your theme, and how to begin to put elements into your theme. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on how to customize how those elements interact with your theme the video elements of your still images and your video clips. So I need to get into the theme designer. Again, we do that by clicking on the plugins word from the top menu or selecting the puzzle piece slightly below that. In either case, we'll see this menu and we'll select theme designer. The first thing that happens is we're not actually in the designer yet. We're in what I call the theme selector and we'll select a different theme than we did in the previous tutorial. I'm going to take the postcards with transitions. Now when I click on that, it populates this area at the bottom with the different segments of this theme, and this will vary from theme to theme. If I want to select that segment, I click on the box in the upper right, and I put a check mark on that. If I want all of them, I can simply click on the check mark on the master one in the list, and they're all checked by default. So I'm going to uncheck two of these, and we'll bring in three of these components in using this theme in this example. And then I'll click on OK. Now I'm in my theme designer. What I'd like to do is begin to populate it. We can do what we talked about in the previous lesson, is populate all of the empty elements in the theme by clicking on the button in the lower left corner. But we're going to look at how they work in this one. Here I have a box, a, an empty container marked number one. Now here we're in the first segment. If I click on the second segment, I notice I have six. Let's go back to the first one. I have a one and a two. Now the one has a picture of what looks like two mountains. That represents a still image. Anything I put in this box will be treated like a still image. So let's take a real still image, like this picture here, and drag and drop it and now it occupies this vacancy. We see it on the preview screen. But what if I don't want that there? I'll, I can right click on it if I like and say remove clip. Or I can simply overwrite it with something else. Those are two ways to repopulate that box. But let's take a movie like this one and put it where a picture belongs. And it does work, you notice. Now, when I do that, I see this icon in the lower left corner of a camera. What's that mean? That means I can select the frame of the movie that will be displayed as a picture. When I click on it, it takes me to my video clip, and I can move anywhere I want to in that clip, select a frame, and then click on the camera icon below, and it will take that frame, and that will be what's treated in my picture. So this will only display either a still image or a frame from a video clip. can choose the frame by clicking on the camera. Now number two has that icon plus the other icon. This one looks like a film strip. So it allows me to take either a still image or populate this container with a movie, a video clip. So I'm going to take a video clip and drag it down there. And now, if I play this, I have actual video playing in this clip. Now, when I hover over it, I have a different icon. This is one of scissors. What's that all about? Well, that means I can trim the video. In many cases, you'll want to do this because you don't want something to go on forever when you're using this particular technique. We can trim this in one of several ways. I can take the playhead and move it to the right and do my mark in and it will snap to that element. I can move this and do a mark out. Or I can simply drag the yellow markers on the left side or on the right side. But notice I have a limitation. Watch. It will not go smaller than the default for this particular component. Right now, the duration is 10 seconds minimum. Now, when I'm trimming a clip, I can choose which 10 seconds I want to use 
but I can't go shorter than 10. I can go longer, but I cannot go shorter. And each component may have a different factor in here as to what the minimum duration of the video clip is. But when I'm done selecting it, trimming it to the minimum or slightly longer, I click on the OK button and then that will determine how that functions in that particular segment of my theme designer. Let's go to the next panel and there's something else I'd like to show you. Here we have a, another icon we haven't seen before. I'm going to take and drag. What is this about? This means I can zoom. If I click on this again, now it is zoomed. Unfortunately, it doesn't change color. It's hard for me to tell whether it's on or off, but watch what happens when I play this. Here we come to number four. Okay, it pops full screen and then recedes. We cannot control the nature of the zoom, its duration, just the fact that it either will zoom out for a few frames and then pop back. So if you want that special effect on either a picture, or in this case, if I right click, I'll remove it, we'll replace it with a video, will actually zoom the video in or out as well. And again, here we can control video duration. If it's a still image, we can control the duration at which it's on the screen. But this icon relates to zooming in and out briefly according to the structure of this container inside your theme designer. So that's another way in which you are allowed to modify the components you bring into your theme. So in the newest version of PowerDirector, you have a bit more control in this panel on how the elements, whether they're video clips or still images, appear as the theme begins to play.